Hello, I'm Marcia, and today I'm going to show you how to publish a website with GitLab pages on gitlab.com. In the first part of this video, I will fork a repo and make it a project website. In the second part, I will show you how to make it a user or a group website. Let's choose one of the default templates available from the pages group. I'm going to choose Jekyll and fork it to my group GitLab pages demos. Once we forked, the first thing to do is removing the fork relationship as it has the purpose of contributing to upstream projects and won't be useful for a regular website. Now, let's enable shared runners to our fork so we'll be able to build our website with GitLab CI. Cool. Now let's edit a file to trigger a build. I'm going to go ahead and make a silly modification to my readme file. Alright, now let's see our build running under our project's pipelines. Cool, there we go. It's important to see our builds running from time to time, as it makes debugging stuff much easier. Once our build passes, let's navigate to our page settings. And there it is, our website URL. Ta-da! Our website is live! Now let's jump to part 2 and make it a user or a group website. There are just two things we need to do to make it happen. The first one is renaming our repository to namespace.kidlab.io, where namespace is your username or your group name. To do that, let's edit our project settings and scroll down to rename repository. To make sure I'm not misspelling my group name, which is GitLab Pages Demos, I'm gonna copy and paste it into the path field, then complete it with gitlab.io. Then I can name the project itself independently. Alright, let's see what happened to our pages settings. Good, our URL has been updated. Let's take a look at our site. There it is, but the CSS link is gone. The old URL now gives us a 404 as expected. Now let's fix our CSS link, which is the last thing we need to do here. To do that, we need to adjust our website's base URL. We just need to remove it, so all the relative paths point directly to our domain, not to a subdirectory of it. Ok, now let's wait for our build to complete and we'll be all good. There we go. Let's refresh our ugly page and ta-da! Alright, that's it. See you next time.